Ezekiel chapter number 42. And he brought me forth into the outer court, and the way toward the north. He brought me into the chamber that was over against the separate place, which was before the building toward the north. Before the, before the length of a hundred cubits was the north door, and the breadth was fifty cubits. Over against the twenty cubits, which were for the inner court, and over against the pavement, which was for the outer court, was gallery against gallery in three stories, three levels. Three. And before the chambers was a walk of ten cubits breadth inward, a walkway, a sidewalk kind of thing, and a way of one cubit, their doors toward the north. Now the upper chambers were shorter, for the galleries were higher than these, than the lower, than the middlemost of the building. It kind of went up like an angle. For they were in three stories, but had not pillars as the pillars of the courts. Therefore the building was straightened more than the lowest and the middle middlemost from the ground. And, the, and it kind of went up like a dang angle. And the wall that was without over against the chambers toward the outer court of the fore part of the chambers, the length thereof was fifty cubits. For the length of the chambers that were in the outer court was fifty cubits, and lo, before the temple was a hundred cubits. And from under these chambers was the entry, a doorway kind of, of the east side, as one goeth into them from the outer court. The chambers were in the thickness of the wall of the court, toward the east, over against the separate place, and over against the, out, the, the building. The way before them was like the appearance of chambers which were toward the north, as long as they and as broad as they, and all their going out were both according to their fashion and according to their doors. And according to the doors of the chambers that were toward the south was a door in the head of the way, even the way directly before the wall toward the east, as one entered onto it. So there's a door in the way. Then said he unto me, The north chambers and the south chambers, which are before the separate place, they be holy chambers, where the priest that shall the priest that approach unto the Lord Capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, shall eat the most holy thing. So the priests are eating some of the sacrifices. Allowed to them, there shall they lay the most holy thing. So there are going to be things consecrated, set apart, sanctified for the Lord. And the meat offering, law is coming back. And the sin offering, law is coming back. And the trespass offering, all found in the law. For the place is holy. I got a note here, Colossians 2.16. So, there's a place where the priests will meet and dine from the sacrifices given to them to perform in this temple. When the priests enter therein, they shall, they shall, yeah. then shall they not go out of the holy place into the outer court, but they shall lay their garments wherein they minister, for they are holy. They're going to have priestly robes, priestly garments given to them, just like in the Old Testament. And it shall put on other garments, and shall approach to those things which are for the people. Now, when he had made an end of measuring the inner house, he brought me forth toward the gate whose prospect is toward the east, and measured it round about. He measured the east side of the measuring with, with the measuring reed. 500 reeds with the measuring reed round about. He measured the north side of 500 reeds and measuring reed with the measuring reed round about. He measured the south side 500 reeds with the measuring reed. He turned about to the west side and measured 500 reeds with the measuring reed. He measured it with the four sides. It had a wall round about 500 reeds wrong and 500 broad. To make a separation 
There's separation in the Bible between the sanctuary and the profane place. How's that? There's a profane place near the temple and it's kept away from the sanctuary. There's the Old Testament, the law is coming back. The priests are going to operate. In order for those priests to operate, they got to know who they are. They don't know who they are today. So God's got to give them a revelation. I use that word properly. God's got to give them a revelation of who they are. How they're going to know who they are, I'm going to assume, I'm going to have an assumption, I'm going to take a guess. And my guess could be wrong. But there's 144,000 men running around who are of the 12 tribes of Israel. One of them is the tribe of Levite, who in the Old Testament was not considered a tribe. They were set apart, they were sanctified outside the tribes of, of uh, Israel. They were, they were the proportion for God. But since Ephraim completely sinned and stepped outside the bond, they're not listed. Dan's not listed either of the 144,000. Yet Joseph and Levi are added to that list. And when Jacob blessed Joseph's children, those two boys, Manasseh and Ethan, became the, 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 they came, um, what do you call it? Ambassadors for Joseph and Levi. And 144,000. That is the only time I see, unless God has a, does something else, to give them their prodigy, their, their prodigy, their, their, uh, who they are, their identity. And yet the Lord Jesus Christ, recorded in Matthew and recorded in Luke, exactly knows who he is. Totally. 